Hello, hello. Dealing with primitive types throughout our code base can be a pain. Ideally, we want to transform those primitive types, and here I mean things like strings, booleans, into richer domain types that allow us to destructure them more clearly, to pattern match on them, to know uh, exactly what kind of data we're dealing with. We remove that uncertainty, right? So let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have phone numbers represented as strings in our domain right now. For example, we have a contact schema that has a phone number field and it's pattern, it's represented as a string. You can even see that if we create a chain set, for example. There you go. Just like you see that it's a phone number, it's a string. If we repo insert this, we would get a string, right? Th that's a normal thing we might do. But how can we improve this? Thankfully, Ecto has a great solution for us and that comes in the form of Ecto types. Now let's take a look at this. We have first a data structure in our domain model, it's a custom domain model that transforms strings into a better structure. So let me show you here. We grab a phone number and we can parse it in this phone number module and it returns a struct that scout phone number with the area code separated from the subscriber number. We can also turn that back into a string and we're going to standardize with parentheses around the area code. Now this isn't anything magical, it's just an elixir struct. Uh, but the point is that this is our richer domain type in this example. Now, how could we make Ecto play nicely with this? Well, if we go ahead and define an Ecto type, let's take a look at this module. We're going to go ahead and use Ecto type. And what we're going to do is define four functions. The first one is type. Type is giving us what is the going to be the underlying type in the database. So we're going to define this as string. So we're still going to save the phone numbers as strings in the database. But then we're going to define cast. And cast is when we have any user input. You can see, you can imagine this from chain sets when they cast something. This is what's going to get called. And when it's binary, we're just going to call that phone number parse. We're going to parse the binary, return a phone number struct. And if we already have a phone number struct, we just pass that through. Otherwise, we return an error. We also have to define load. And load is when the data is coming from the database. And we want to turn that into our domain type. In this case, we're going to turn it into a phone number again using phone number parse because it's a binary. And then there's dump. Dump is when we're actually bringing something that's already been casted, for example, in this case, it's going to be a phone number struct into the database. So we're going to call phone number two string with that number so we can transform it into the format that the database expects, again, a string. So now that we have this custom Ecto type, we can set it in our schema. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Instead of string, we're going to call phone number as the type, and we're going to alias this type. Now let's take a look at what we can do with Ecto. I'm going to recompile this and clear it out. And now let's take a look at what a change set looks like. Look at that. It takes a phone number as a string, but because we're casting it in the change set, it changes it into a phone number struct already prepared for us. Now you can imagine this even backing up a, a form that's not connected to the database, an embedded schema in Ecto. And so you're transforming user input at the boundary into a richer domain type. Then your whole domain deals with it, and then we can persist it into the database just as a string. So let's take a look at that, right? We can say a repo insert on that chain set, and perfect, it inserts it. Of course, we can also query these things, and they'll pull it from the database correctly. You can see that right there. We pulled it by getting the last uh, contact, right? But it, it's even better. Suppose we have that phone number data structure, right? We have it right there. And we actually can make Ecto queries with this, right? Let's write a query from C in contact where the phone number is that phone number and it's matching on the struct. And then when we repo on that query, we get back the desired contact. This is mind blowing to me because Ecto is doing all the heavy lifting. And again, it permits us to protect our domain at the boundary. So when the user input is coming in, we cast it into a richer domain type, and then we would persist into the database. We put it back in the format that the database understands, but when we pull it from the database, it comes back to our rich domain type. So our domain is dealing with a safe parse phone number, and we're safeguarding that at the edges. I hope you like it.